lighting so bad? Help me. Okay, so today's video, I'm really sorry it's quite a boring one, but I did plan on doing my um, either a haul or a full face first impressions, but honestly, today is not my day with makeup. My brows look bomb, like I don't think they've ever looked better, but I couldn't apply eyeshadow to save my life. So instead, I'm gonna do our last declutter. I have now decluttered everything except my blushes, and my blush drawer's gotten a little bit out of control. Um, I don't think I can actually open this one fully. No, I need to adjust it. So I thought we would go through my blushes and declutter and organize. Um, I also have like a few like bronzer and contour products in here that are just too um, big for my bronzer drawer, which is just above. There you are. I love this drawer. I don't even need to declutter it because I'm such a bronzeraholic, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that drawer is perfect. This drawer is not, and this is what we're going to be working with. Excuse the mess in the background. That is the stuff for my haul. Hopefully it's light enough or I can lighten it in post-production because I'm fancy. Let's begin. So I'll just pick, pick what I've got. This is the next three steps to sculpt palette. My friend sent me this and oh, I haven't even opened it. Looks a little something like this. It looks really nice actually. Um, what's this highlight? Oh, oh, oh. And this contour shade looks real nice. Yeah, that looks nice. I can get on board with that. So I'm gonna keep that because it'll be good for a first impression video. In fact, I'll put it down with this first impression stuff. This is a bronzer I really love, but it's just way too big for my um, drawer dividers. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in, pretty sure this is in a particular shade. Yeah, Ticket to Brazil. I think this is one of the latest ones. It's just so cheap and cheerful. It's got a slight shimmer to it. You know, I like that. I'll talk less about bronzers than I will about blushes. Right, let's start in this section. So this is my Morphe Blush Trio. It's really pretty. Um, I really like the colours, especially this middle one. My friend actually sent me this as well. Thank you, Anna. Um, I'm going to keep that because it is the only Morphe blush I've got. And if I want to do like a Morphe, full face Morphe, then I've got that. Then I've got this Weaver Spice of Life um, highlight and blush palette. See, I've not even swatched this, but that blush looks so beautiful. But I haven't touched it, so I feel like I should pass it on to someone else. I don't know if you can see, the blush has like a lot of shimmer in it and it just looks gorgeous. But I need to be a bit more ruthless with my blushes, so that's going to go in the declutter pile. Um, then I have this sleek contouring and blush palette, and I kept this on purpose because of this contour shade. My favourite um, drugstore contour is the sleek little mini face contour kit and that's severely hit pan this is a kind of insurance backup plus this blush in here is a dupe of nars orgasm you see it's got a bit of shine to it i'll swatch her look at that oh my goodness i need to use that more keeping i need something to wipe my hands on because i'm wearing my pajamas right now and i don't want to get them all messy then I have the exact same thing. Hold on. Okay, so this one is in light. This one is in medium. Ah, uh, that's a lot deeper. And I haven't even touched that. So I can declutter that one. I really, really like this. This is a collection highlight blush and bronze. And the blusher in here is so beautiful. It is like a shimmery benefit dandelion. It's quite subtle, but it's so pretty. The highlight's really, really nice too, actually. Look at that. I'm a swatcher. Ah, <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. I f just forget about what I own. Oh, then I've got this Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which has a big bronzer in it, a blush, and a highlight. I'm going to keep this more for sentimental reasons because it was my first ever Tarte product and I'm pretty sure you can't get this anymore. 
So although I don't use it on my channel, I will use it in my own time because powders last for a long time. Okay. Ooh. Crepe. Oh, then I've got my little Kate Moss and Rimmel one. Let me open it up. There you go. This is quite new to me. I'm going to keep it because it's drugstore. I hesitate to get rid of drugstore products more than high-end products because I love using drugstore on my channel. Then I've got kind of my pride and joy. This is my NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. Look at that packaging. Please open. I actually spent 45 pounds on this and I still haven't used it. I'm trying to get this light more proper but it's just not working. It ain't working for me. Hold on. That is as bright as I can get it, sorry. Um, but this palette is so beautiful. Blushes, highlights. This highlight is really, really, really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, there's my face. I got no makeup on. Ooh, let me turn that off. Look at that. I need to put that in the pile for my um, full face first impressions because I perchance might use that. Love this one. This is my Naked Urban Decay Cherry um, Blush and Highlight Palette. Two highlights, one blush. Don't use the blush because it's really, really deep. But you see these highlights? They are literally incredible. Seems I have a lot of highlighters in this drawer. That's the thing about palettes, like you put them in one drawer and then you kind of forget that you've got them, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm going to keep that uh, that Urban Decay one. I'm also going to keep this one because it's got a bronzer in it. This is the Naked Flushed in the shade Way Native. This is the only Urban Decay bronzer I've got. I need to rectify that, but every time I go to buy one, I'm like, oh, it's almost 30 pounds. I can't do it. So I'm going to keep that. I really like the blush, really like the highlight. Um, then I have this L'Oreal Infallible Blush Paint. I've used this once, really liked it, no complaints, but I don't need it. So my niece will have that quite happily. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this packaging. That is like stitched on. This is Diego Dal Palma Frangipani, Frangipan? I don't know how you pronounce that word, cheeks. It's a blush. It is so pretty. It can be quite intense if you go like over the flowers. But if you kind of grab more of the non floweriness, it's much paler. But obviously, you mix them together and it's gorgeous. I can't get rid of it for that packaging. And I have used it a few times and really, really enjoyed it. So we are keeping her. Oh, this is such a classic. This is so old. And in fact, here's the other one my two natural collection blushes. This one is Peach Melba. I'm not getting rid of it because I can't find it in Boots. Like online I looked and I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna keep that. This one is Pink Cloud. You can see how much I enjoyed that. I'm gonna keep that as well, to be honest, because these blushes are 199. They are incredible quality. They are amazing. This one is a dupe of Benefit Dandelion. They're just great. But you can't get them anymore, that's the only problem. So I'm like, should I keep them because you can't get them anymore? So how can I use them on my channel? Uh, 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 I don't know what to do. Maybe pile. Over there, yes, I have my granny pajamas on. Obviously not getting rid of this. She's just joined the family. This is Milani Coral Cove. She broke because the postman forced it through the letterbox. 05 Coral Cove, highly recommend you purchase this. It's the most beautiful summery pink shade coral shade I guess. I need to be so careful when I open this. Let me swatch it. Stay in. It is like a neon coral. It is incredible. She is not going anywhere. I do want to repurchase that in a non-broken form. Oh then I have this Nip and Fab liquid blush. Look at the colour of that. You would need the deepest skin tone to be able to wear this as a blush. It is insane. And also, it stains really badly. So I'm going to get rid of that. And what is this? Nip and Fab Electric Apricot. This is like a stick blush. Very, very peach 
I never wear cream blushes, so I'm just gonna declutter that one. And the Nip and Fab contouring sticks are incredible, but I just don't ever reach for those. Then I have my two ABH blush kits. So this one is ingredient, which looks like this, and I regret the day I swatched that because it's way too dark. This one is in Radiant, and this one is beautiful. This one suits me really well. I love the top two shades. I still use this quite a lot, so I'm gonna keep that one. But I am gonna declutter this darker one because it's just way too dark for my skin tone. Um, none of the shades would work for me. It would work as eyeshadows, but would I ever use that as eyeshadow? The answer's no. Okay, never getting rid of this. I have literally wanted one of these bourgeois blushes since I was about 12. I picked this up recently on Feel Unique or Look Fantastic. This is in shade 41. It's just like a peachy, kind of shimmery, really kind of subtle peach. Not getting rid of that. See how much my hand looks sore after swatching that um, stupid nip and fab one. Oh, me back. Right, BH Cosmetics, blushing and Bali. Not getting rid of this. Look how gorgeous that is. And these highlighters, oh my lord, let me show you. Look at that. Are you seeing that? Can you even see that? My swatch on the hairy part of my arm. Although I have no arm hair really. Look at those highlighters. Wow. I can only use one, obviously, but I don't care. I actually do keep it for the blush, which is why it's in the blush drawer. These first two blushes are absolutely stunning. This one again is very Benefit Dandelion and if I keep repeating that and you're like, why do you keep saying that Melissa? It's because Benefit Dandelion is my favorite blush of all time. It is stunning. I need to get the baby wipes out. Okay, then what have we got down here then? So this is the Blank Canvas um, Pippa palette. I'm just gonna declutter it. I've swatched it, it seems really nice for the face product, but it's actually um, stopped being made now. They've done it so that, well, I mean, what am I trying to say? It's now limited edition, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Then I've got this Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. I think this is my only Makeup Revolution blush. I don't think I have any singles from them, so I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile because I do barely reach for it, but it is good for full face Makeup Revolution. But actually seeing that now I've got the Rachel Leary palette which has blush in it. So I'm going to declutter this one because I don't need it. And then I have this Essence Hey Cheeks blush bronzer kind of everything palette. It is actually really nice but I never reached for it so I'm going to declutter it. At the back here I got sent this ginormous Technic um, Galaxia Collection face palette. I also got an eyeshadow palette and brushes and stuff. To be honest, this is just so cumbersome. Like, look at the size of it. I'm gonna just declutter that. Some of the shades look gorgeous. They're all highlighters, but it's just so big I put it in this drawer. So I'm gonna declutter that because, to be honest, I'm just never ever gonna reach for that. Something's poking my bum and hurting me. Oh, I've got more bronzers back here. This Ofra format blush bronzer. I got this free when I ordered a highlighter off Beauty Bay. It's the most intensely pigmented shimmery bronzer. It's definitely like a highlight for a deep skin tone, so I'm gonna decut on her. Oh, this is my Kiko Jelly Jungle Maxi Bronzer. I absolutely love this. First of all, the color is perfect for me. I love this pink Perspex packaging. I love how big it is. I got this for, why is it not focusing? I got this for 50 pence in Kiko. The sales that they do are insane, like they reduce it so much. I'm not getting rid of this. I don't think you can get it anymore, but I like using it in my own time. And then same for this Flormar bronzing powder. You can actually get this in Primark, in a lot of Primark stores now. I really like this, it's a really beautiful color. I had one for when I did my sponsored um, video on Instagram and smashed it and then they sent me a new one. It's really pale, it's almost like Hula Light. Um, I would definitely, definitely, definitely check it out if you are near a Primark store because it's a really nice shade, very light for fair skin. Get it, it's my beef arm. 
Wow. Okay then. We've got more at the back here. And then we can move on to my singles. Because I've already been filming for 17 minutes. What is this? Another nip and fab liquid blush. I'm just going to declutter that because I never use liquid blush. Oh, do you remember this? My Primark um, blush palette. I really, really like this. You definitely can't get it anymore, I'm pretty sure. T saying that, I've not been in Primark since before Christmas because my back. I know, very upsetting. I love this. But you can't get it anymore, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. So I've got a few in the maybe pile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Glamify Beauty Scarlet Blusher Palette. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. I didn't even remember I have that. Meron Eye and Cheek Powder Palette. This is such good quality, but it is absolutely ridiculously expensive. I think this is so expensive. I can't remember the price. It'll be on screen if I can find it. But this peach blush is what made me keep the palette. Look at my granny jammies. Oi, 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 oi. Come on, lads. I'm going to declutter that now. Um, I've got my Technic Color Fix blush palette. Really good quality. Really like it. Going to declutter it. I've got too many blushes. And I want to just have this drawer the way I have my bronzer drawer with these inserts and just buy more for my blush drawer. Um, but right now I've got them in this cutlery tray, but anyway. Um, then I have my Kat Von D fetish palette. My parents-in-law bought me this for Christmas. I will not get rid of this. I love this colour Salem. It is incredible. I don't know if you can still buy this palette. I don't care. I'm keeping it. And these shades up at the top are sick. Look at them. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They are just incredible. They remind me of the ABH Dream Glow Kit highlights. I love this palette. I don't care about the Kat Von D controversy because I just care about makeup, so I'm keeping that. Eat poo, if you think otherwise. No, don't eat poo. It will probably kill you. I've got my blue tack trick in here, so this won't move. Okay, this one is purely sentimental. My MAC Nutcracker. This was one of my first ever MAC products. It's actually really, really beautiful. This highlighter, look at that. And the blush is stunning. I do actually still use this quite a lot in my own time, but probably never on my channel because again, it was limited edition. So I'm gonna keep her, but yeah, can't get it anymore. Then I've got three ABH blush trios. I had them all, but I just kind of put some in a giveaway, gave some away. So this one is Pink Passion. Um, I do really like this middle shade. It looks a bit scarier on camera than it actually is, and this shade's really pretty, so hold on. Let me see what the other two look like. There's one I'm definitely keeping. Okay, this is Cocktail Party. This middle peach is sick. What is this last one? No, right. So this is the one I'm definitely keeping. This is peachy love, because this peach shade is sickening. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of... No, it's so beautiful. Oh dear. I'm gonna keep all three. Honestly, I love them. I love the formula that I love the colours. I'm sorry. Right. Oh no, I do have a Makeup Revolution blush. Look, this is the Opulence Blush Compact. So I'm going to keep that. It's really pretty. It's Makeup Revolution. I love doing full face Makeup Revolution, as you know. Um, collection Blush Block. Meh. I'm going to declutter that. Didn't even know I had it. This is quite new to me. The Wet n Wild Baked Blush limited edition in hummingbird hype which if you can see the sheen on that it's definitely more like a blush topper slash a highlighter if you've got like a deep skin tone can you see that there the sheen on it it's beautiful um it is limited edition though and i put that in the maybe pile 
Oh, this is ancient NYX bronzer and blusher. Look at that. I used to love this. I'm gonna declutter it now because it's ancient. Pretty sure you can't get it, but my word, I used to love that. Then I have this Too Faced. And this is part of the Tutti Fruity collection. Apricot in the act. Um, blush jewel, it's more like a highlighter and a um, matte blush, but you just mix them together and it gives you the most beautiful, peachy, glowy blush. It's so stunning. I love it. It's very expensive. My friend sent it to me. She's so nice. So I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> there's a lot in my declutter pile. I know I've, I keep saying I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep that, but there's quite a lot in my declutter pile. Okay. Um, L'Oreal Life's a Peach. Not getting rid of that. Love it. Um, Lottie London Blush Crush. That is so pretty. I've, I think I've worn this once. I, as you can see, I have a lot of blushes and I've got a lot in my keep pile. So I'm going to put that in the declutter pile. Purely just because I have so many and that's not very unique. This one's gorgeous. This is um, Milani Blossom Time Rose. It's got a slight gold sheen to it. It's the same as Coral Cove. The same like formula. So I'm keeping her because she's lovely. Um, okay, let me... Make some room in here. What is this? Estee Lauder sculpting blush. Oh, my mother in law gave me this at Christmas time, and I just felt she got it in a big set, and I just felt quite fancy having an Estee Lauder blush. But I will admit, I've never used it, so I'm going to give that to someone else, to Ellie, niece probably. What is this? Oh, my Rimmel Maxi blush, Maxi pads. Really like the colour, so I'm keeping it. It is Sweet Cheeks. Um, and I love Drugstore, you know me. Um, oh, my Milani Luminoso and Dolce Pink. Can you see how beautiful they are? Keeping both. Very expensive, by the way. Like, really expensive, but really good. Um, Oh, these are ancient. These are one of the, this is one of the first companies that ever sent me PR, Wonderland. And I really liked the packaging because it, it made me think it was like Mac. Like I know it's not Mac, but it's just like the packaging reminds me of Mac. So I've got this pink one and then this like more mauve one. I'm going to probably bin them because they're really old. This is Kiko Fall 2.0 Dual Blush. Couldn't resist because it was like a pound in the sale, so I bought it, but I never ever reached for it because I'm always scared of this like little block of bronzer at the bottom, and so I never reached for it, so I'm going to declare that one. I am being brutal with myself. Oh, MUA Blush Papaya Whip. She is staying one of the most lovely kind of muted peach blushes at the drugstore. Very inexpensive as well. Wet n Wild colour icon in apricot in the middle. Why, that's the same as the Too Faced colour. Um, shade name. It is really pretty. I think this is my only Wet n Wild blush. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it because it's my only Wet n Wild blush and it is very pretty. No, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Um, maybe pile. Um, the Bam Bam Springs. Gonna get rid of that because I never wear it. I feel personally like I'm doing really well. Revlon Peach Glow thing. Um, nah, gonna declutter that. I'm actually running out of room on that shelf. Oh, I love this. It's one of my favourite blushes. Kiko Smart Blush in O2. It's just such a lovely muted colour, keeping her, don't know if, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still get it. I feel like that's part of the permanent collection. This isn't going anywhere. My little mini Natasha Denona blush and glow. So it's a tiny little blush and then a little highlighter. It's so beautiful, but I really, really want the diamond um, blush and glow. Um, I'm going to get that and then I also want the little mini bronzer one. So she's staying. She was expensive. What is this? CYO Cream Shadow and Blush. 
Nah. Never use quartz. Steelock convertible color. This is in the shade Fuchsia. Very scary to look at. Um, I got this in TK Maxx, I'm pretty sure. Look at that colour. I'm going to get rid of it now because I literally have never worn it. I just sometimes take it out and swatch it. I should technically keep it for my full face sealer that I still haven't filmed. Um, but I'll never wear it. Oh, I really like this. So this is Thumper, Colourpop Thumper. It is cream, but I find that it goes over powders really, really beautifully. So I'm going to keep that. I have a discount code with Colourpop. Five make me up, Missa. Gets you five dollars off your order. Oh, another Colourpop one. Speak of the devil. This is, oh, I can't remember the shade um, because it's not got like a hole in the back of this compact. Um, it's not called Private Party. I can't remember. It's a really lovely peach blush um, and I don't want to risk taking it out and breaking it. Okay, oh, this isn't going anywhere, is it? Illamasqua Naked Rose. Again, one of the most beautiful muted blushes in the entire world. Who is with me on that? I am. She's staying. Milani Colour Harmony um, Trio Quad Blush. I'm going to get rid of that. I've got a few Milanis now. I don't need that many. Kiko O3 Metal Fusion. Oh, I got this in the sale, again, for like 50 pence, and I couldn't resist. Look at that colour. Like, I could never, ever, ever wear that as a blush. But it's so beautiful, so I'm going to put it in my maybe pile. And the packaging, oh, lovely. Um, NYX, oh, I got this in the advent calendar. I thought it was really pretty, but now I'm like, well, it was so limited edition, so there's no point keeping it. And then I've got my Benefit Dandelion that I keep comparing everything to. As you can see, it's nearly done. I really, 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 really want a full size one. They're so expensive, but I know it's worth it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep that until I've completely panned it. It is incredible. It is the best blush on my skin tone, hands down. But then I also have California, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like bright coral kind of peach. So that's going to stay too. Um, and then this is Sleep Rose Gold. Okay, so this one was in the palette that I swatched. So I'm just going to declutter that one because I don't need two of the same shade. I'm definitely keeping this. This is my NARS Adoration Dual Intensity Blush. One of the most beautiful things in the world. I don't think I've actually used it on my channel because it sickens me how expensive it is. But... I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. So it's two shades, you can just mix them together or use them alone, whatever you wanna do. Not going anywhere for the price I paid for that. What is this? Oh my goodness, I got this ages ago. Jordana Touch of Pink. That is such a beautiful color, I can't even get over it. Oh my goodness, it's so peach and perfect top one there maybe pile because i don't think i've reached for that in a long 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 time but it's so pretty very 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 few to go my lovely max factor cream puff blush this is in the shade why doesn't it say the shade lovely pink it does say the shade it's like a dupe of the hourglass one it's incredible would recommend love this my little rimmel um santa rose i though have had this for at least five years so that needs to go in the bin <laughs> but i just loved it so much and then i have this nyx blush in the shade electro i'm gonna declutter that I'm not scared of bold colours, but that just won't suit me. So she's got to go. Oh, I've got another colour pop one. This is Count Me In. A lovely kind of, I'd say, deep peach. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. And like I said, they go over um, powders really nicely, which is quite surprising. So I'm keeping that. 
Plus, I'm totally building my ColourPop collection. All oh, this is my other little Rimmel one, Live Pink. This one is way less used than my other one, but it is as old, so I do need to get rid of this. It's so gorgeous, though. It's got, like, shimmer in it. I just used to love this. Wow. Memories are coming out. Um, Pixie by Petra Beach Rose. I got this in... I think it was in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. Or maybe something like that. I don't like the colour though, it's more like a bronzer than a blush, but it isn't the right shade for me, so I'm just going to declutter that. And one of my pride and joys, my little mini NARS orgasm, I would never splash out in the full size. I know I did for the dual intensity, but oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful. Not getting rid of. And then this was in a glossy box, I think. This tiny little model coat frozy highlighter. But this as a blush topper is so pretty. Look at that colour. I can't get rid of that. I just can't. I physically cannot. It is too pretty. Right, let me clean this drawer and then we will come back and we will restack everything into it nicely. So I need to buy another set of dividers for this drawer. But for the time being, I'm using this white wire um cutlery tray i got these in tk maxx they were like I don't know, two or three ninety nine each i wouldn't have bought five if they weren't so cheap because i used to store like all my makeup in these um so that's what i'm using in this drawer and i'll put it on this side so you can see i'm just gonna start stacking in the ones i'm keeping Okay, it's currently not looking that beautiful, but it is way more organized and I also have like a lot of room. I'm really shocked. I managed to declare quite a lot. I'm just gonna rejig this middle one. Yeah, I've got a whole side compartment now. I might just put those. No, oh, I don't like that. I'm just gonna leave those at the side, just there. Um, yeah, got a whole compartment. So just looking at my maybes. This is my maybes, so I'm gonna keep this wet and wild one, just play around with it a wee bit more in my own time. I'm gonna get rid of this wet and wild one. I'm just gonna keep my little natural collection ones, use them in my own time and completely pan them because they're so close to being panned anyway. And I'm gonna keep this Jordana one because the color is really pretty, but I'm gonna get rid of the Kiko and I'm gonna get rid of the Primark. So they can go there. Yeah, so it's not like the most pretty arrangement, but I do want those dividers, like I said, and that's what I plan on buying. So I'm just gonna stick this blue tack at the back again so this doesn't move around. Honestly, it's the best trick. And then I'll show you from the top what I'm looking at. So this is now my blush drawer. It is clean, it's decluttered, it's mess free. I've got my kind of palettes at the front here and then down the side, including a couple of those large bronzers. All my blushes fit in these two slots, which is incredible, and then I've got room to grow in this one. Although I am gonna get the dividers, like I said, that I've got in my bronzer drawer and actually in my highlighter drawer so that everything is way more tidy um, and get rid of this like cutlery drawer. But I'm much happier with that, and then I'll just show you what I'm decluttering, and I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with me. I'm not gonna lie. So these are all the blushes that I'm getting rid of, please. Please, out of all my declutters, tell me how impressed you are with how many I'm getting rid of. Like, I think I've done a pretty good job. No? 
I'm getting rid of like 40 blushes almost. I think that's so impressive for me. I do need to pick one to use in my makeup I hate video. So I need to pick a cream blush, I think. I'm gonna pick this CYO one because it looks like the least offensive. Because <laughs> that video is gonna be a hot mess. And then I will declutter it because it's makeup I hate video. So yeah, that is what I'm getting rid of. The drawer will not open. Oh no. Kat Von D palette needs to be on its butt. I know, I know, I need to hoover. Hold on. I'm just gonna move those two bronzers into there for the time being. That drawer is so much better, look. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Have I brushed my hair in two days? No, my brows look good though. But at least they did a couple of hours ago. Granny pajamas, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't know why I'm doing the outro on camera. I'm really gonna regret this when I go to edit it. And yeah, I will see you in my next one, which will hopefully be a makeup on my face video. If you want to, please go and check out my other declutters. I have done heaps on my channel. Um, please like this video. Um, leave me a comment and subscribe because I am so beautiful, probably the most beautiful person on YouTube. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Oh. <laughs> this is me though. <laughs>